Yeah. Okay, so fractions. Fractions are fun. Fractions. So, we know all this stuff now. Let's put it to use. Okay, how many like fractions? Oh, you don't? So, if you don't like them, get rid of them. Okay? But before you get rid of them, deal with them. Okay? What do I mean by that? So, 3x minus 6 minus 5x equals 8 over 3 negative, right? Yes. Times 3 over 2 minus 3x. Yes. Alright, first things first. I want to deal with them. Okay? First thing you always, always, always do, PIMDAS. Everybody on the block gets the paper. Remember, that is a paper, and it's got to be distributed. That's the biggest mistake people make. Boom, boom. So what happens is you got 3x minus 6 plus 5x equals, and now the other side. Deal with it. The whole paper. The minus 8 over 3. So now I've got minus 8 over 3 times a positive is a minus. 8 times 3 is 24. 2 times 3 is 6. And then I have, uh, remember that's over 1, right? So eight t a negative times a negative is a positive. So 8 times 3 is 24x over 3 times 1, which is 3, okay? And now I deal with them. Now I deal with them and I say, well, wait, 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 before I collect my like terms, let's deal with this, okay? Just 3x minus 6 plus 5x. Can these break down? Oh, 6 goes into 24. How many times? 4, Four times. 3 goes into 24. How many times? Eight. Eight. Eight times. So, boom. I don't have any fractions now. So, you deal with them first. Then we manipulate the stuff, okay? Now I gotta, I gotta add my like terms, right? So, I need to look at x and x. And remember, that's totally separate. And these are separate, right? So, boom. Do the adding, and we get eight x minus 6 equals 8x minus 4. Remember, the x's go first. Okay. Now you look at it and go, hey, are these equal? No. No. Okay, well maybe I got to get rid of this 8x. So which 8x is smaller? 8 or 8? 8. Good. Okay. So, I move the 8 by adding the opposite, which is negative 8. But when I do that, remember that's a minus, it's not divided. This cancels. This cancels. And I get negative 6 equals negative 4. And I'm like, whoa, what just happened? The x has disappeared. What does that mean? Well, this is the, this is the big question. Does negative 6 equal negative 4? No. The answer is no. How about spelling it right? No. So, that's half of your answer right there. No. The other one was yes, remember? Yeah. When it was yes, half of your answer was right there because it, uh, it looks like an 8, but it's really a infinite sign. Okay, so you're just playing with your heads a little bit. Okay. So the other half of this answer is no, which means solution. no solution. Which is like this. Boom. A zero with the line through it. Okay? Now, that was fun. But there's a better one in here. It's even more fun. 14. We can do it. 16. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Boy, 
more fun. Okay. One half x minus two minus five less than or equal to <laughs> four x minus one half x plus three. Okay. Pimdas. Pimdas. Alright? Everybody on the block gets the paper. Okay? Bam, bam. I got one half x. I've got minus two over two. Alright? Minus five less than or equal to four x. Bring out the whole paper. The minus goes with it. It was easy to bring the minus eight thirds, right? Okay. What we forget to do is bring the minus one half when it's okay. So everybody on the block gets the paper. Minus one half x. Okay. And then uh, plus or no minus three over two. Okay. Hey. Just ask yourself, does 2 go into 1 or does 2 go into 3? No. So we're dealing with fractions here, right? Okay. So, what kind of fractions uh, can get rid of, what's the common denominator in all these fractions? 2. 2. If I multiply by 2, I'll get rid of all the denominators, right? But, the key here is everybody on the block everybody on the block gets this paper it gets rid of okay. and you have to use the common denominator that means if you got one denominator is a two another one's a three and another one's an eight what's your common denominator two. 24 okay 24 all right so you'd have to multiply by 24 if you're Three numbers were two, three, and eight. Well, two goes into eight, so that's taken care of. No big deal. But three doesn't, right? So three times eight is 24, and that's your common denominator, okay? So it depends on what's, you know, what your denominators are. In this case, your only denominators are one, right? One, one, two, 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 and two. So what does one and two both go into? Two, because one goes into two twice, and two goes into two once. Okay? And that's why a two is your common denominator. Multiply everything on the block. Bam! That's two over two, which is... So sometimes I just write it. Two over two x minus four over two minus ten over one. It's less than or equal to... 8 over 1x and minus 2 over 2x minus 6 over 2. See how I didn't even, I didn't even, you know, try to, I didn't try to break it down while I'm doing it. Just do it, right? You can break it down later. If you try to break it down while you're doing it, mistakes. Mistakes happen, okay? So just do it, and then break it down. That's an x minus 2 minus 10 less than or equal to 8x minus x minus 3. Is that right? I hope so. Okay, so then I move on. And now it's the same problem as all the ones were before it. Collect your like terms. Collect your like terms. X goes first. Minus 12 is less than or equal to 7X minus 3. Okay, which one's smaller? X or 7X? This is key. Which one's smaller? X. So I'm going to minus X and minus X. Oops. And I get 
negative 12 is less than or equal to 6x minus 3. Why did I do that? Everybody, every book out there tells you to move the x over this way. Yes. But I don't. Why? Yes. Because later on, is this positive? Yes. Yeah. If I moved it over here, would it, would it have been? No. And I would have to divide by a negative, which means I have to flip my sign. How many remember to do that? Right? Half of you? Maybe, if you're lucky. Okay? That's why I don't teach that way. Okay? This way will flip the sign on its own. Move the lowest x, the x will always stay positive. Okay? And then, same thing. Get the number away from the x. Do the opposite to both sides. So now I have negative 15 is less than or equal to 6x. Uh-oh. I must have did something wrong. 20. Ah, ha, ha. That's what I did wrong. Did you forget a positive? No, look. See that? Yeah. No, that's right. 2 over 2, then that's 4 over 2. No, nope, that's not wrong. Does it come out to be a, a, a fraction in there? Do you have a fraction as one of your answers? No. I didn't think so. Yeah. Which one? They're all, they're all, all six. Yeah, this should be... Oh, it's a fraction? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. But maybe it's okay. All right. <laughs> so, I didn't think it was going to give you a fraction. All right, so let's go with uh, black. All right, so what do we do next? Divide by six. Divide by six. Divide by six. So I get... Okay, I'm going to bring this up and over. And I get negative 15 over six. It's less than or equal to x. Now, I'm pretty sure that's not one of the answers. Question? Yeah, I, I thought since you uh, added the 3 to get rid of the 3. Ah, that's, that's, that's one thing. That's what I was wondering, too. You couldn't yeah. think the hell of it because I yeah. had it I knew I was doing something side. wrong there. Okay, I thought I was doing that it wrong. Something looked <laughs> wrong there. Okay. Her. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was so confused. Good. So we added the 3, add the 3, and what happens? The 12 becomes a... Positive. No, it's still negative. Nine. Still a fraction, though. But thank you. That kind of helps. We'll see if it's the right answer. Okay, so that put, puts it as a negative nine over six still, right? And I'm sure that's not one of the answers, because why? It's not simplified. So we simplify it by three goes into both of them. So three goes into nine three times, and three goes into six twice, but I bet this still isn't one of your answers. Why? It's close. It's close. C. You have to... I have to have the x over here, right? Yes. And remember, the open side's on the x side, so it's right. open, yep. negative. and then negative three over two. Is that the answer? Yes, sir. Yeah. You just move it? Well, I didn't just move it. It has to. I put X first, uh -huh. and then I make sure that this says the same thing. What this is saying uh -huh. is that X is greater than negative 3 over 2. And what this is saying is X is greater than okay. negative 3 over 2. It's just that this is saying it backwards. So what it really says is three, negative 3 over 2 is less than X. Okay? But that's the opposite of saying x is greater than negative 3 over 2, right? So that's what's happening there. So we flip it at the end, but we flip it to where it makes sense, rather than, oh, I divided by a negative, so I have to flip it. Why do I have to flip it? Because I said so. Okay? I don't know how many times my dad just said, you know, take out the garbage. Why? Because I said so. You know, just tell me, hey, you may have the damn garbage, take the damn garbage out, you punk. You no, know, don't tell me because I said so. All right? Tell me why I got to do it. All right.